I have talked the whole time without microphone. Obviously, what a bad mistake. That was shitty, but okay, happens. <laughs> I will go on. Um, however, I have lost until now. You are being followed by an ambulance with its blue flashing lights and serene sounding. What should you do? I prompt the driver of the vehicle beside me to make way. No, I make my way immediately once the traffic light has turned green. Uh... No, as well. I move out of the way immediately without endangering others. Yes, that's correct. Nice, and here we go, finally. We finished chapter two, even if we uh, missed a couple of questions, which I was muted, but okay, let's go ahead. Uh, yes, let's go out of here and take the next questions. All right. All right. Now we are finally here with sound on. Um, at a chapter which you have to be really, really careful, it's about priority. We have five points here, yeah. So, a lot of these questions, I think actually all of these priority questions do have five points. So, uh, we have to be really careful. Remember, if you make two of five points wrong, so you've got 10 bad, you will fail immediately. So, let's go. At which places? Where there are no traffic signs regulating priority, does the rule right before left apply? At the end of a traffic calmed area, at crossroads and junctions, at driveways. So, at the end of a traffic calmed area, no. If you're coming out of a traffic calmed area, you have to give priority to everyone else. So that's not correct. At crossroads and junctions, there applies the rule right before left. Yes. And at driveways, no, neither. So it's just the middle one. Nice. All right. At which places where there are no traffic signs regulating priority, does the rule right before left apply? At junctions with sunken curbstone, at junctions of farm tracks or forest tracks with other roads, at crossroad and junctions. Hmm. At junctions with sunken curbstones, no. Someone who is leaving a sunken curbstone has to give priority. At junctions of farm tracks and forest tracks with other roads as well. If you're coming out of such a small tiny road, you have to give priority if you enter a bigger street or a normal street. And at crossroad and junctions, there it does apply right before left if there is no other sign. All right, nice. You're approaching a crossroad where the priority situation is not clear to your straight away. What do you do? Wait, observe, and come to an agreement with others if necessary. Proceed according to the rule right before left. Always proceed when driving straight ahead. So you come to a crossing and you missed whatever was there and you are not sure what to do. So how you handle that situation? Wait, observe, and come to an agreement with others if necessary is correct. Proceed according to the rule right before left is quite dangerous because according to that rule, if someone comes from the left, you would be able to drive first. But if you missed a sign that you have to give priority, you might crash into him. So don't you follow that rule if you're not 100% sure. And always proceed when driving straight ahead. Well, that's not a good idea neither. So it's just the first one. Okay, what is the right cause of action? Right. Um, first about the first question, what you should ask yourself is which priority rule does apply here? And there is no sign, no traffic light. So right before left is important here. So who's from our right? The motorcycle. So we have to wait for the motorcycle. 
and the motorcycle is waiting for the bicycle because of his side is the bicycle and the bicycle has no one so the bicycle will drive first what is the right cause of action i have to allow the cyclist to pass through yes i have to allow the motorcyclist to pass through yes i may take the turn before the cyclist no that's not correct what is the right cause of action let's have a look again the question is which priority rules do regulate this junction and because we can't see any traffic side and any traffic light it is right before left on other side on our on our side to the right is no one so we can go first then from the side from the bicyclist bicycle by bicycle driver oh my god for the cyclist he has on his right hand side the red car so he has to wait for the red truck and the truck has to wait for us so we are the first then the bicycle and then the truck all right what is the right cause of action i have to allow the red truck to turn no i have to allow the cyclist to turn no i may be the first to pass through the junction yes all right nice what is the right cause of action which rules applies here you see the sign here on the right and that sign means you have to give priority and probably the one on the left and on the right they are on a priority road or at least have priority at this junction so we have to wait for the track tour for the truck and then we are allowed to go these two can proceed at the same time because they are not interfering their way so we have to wait for them both what is the right cause of action i have to allow the blue truck to pass through i have to allow the tractor to turn the blue truck has to allow me to pass through so regarding our analysis we have to allow the blue truck to pass and the tractor as well so these are the two correct answers nice oh sorry i just didn't read the answer or the question but i think we don't need it first to understand the situation right now we have the sign on the right hand side and that sign means that at this crossroad or junction we have priority however the motorcycle in front of us has the same side uh, sign so the motor uh, bicycle can cross first and then we are allowed to go because we are crossing his way so the motorcyclist is the first one then it's us and at the end it's the bus on the right hand side because he's from a street with with no priority all right what is the right cause of action i have to allow the bus to pass through no i have to allow the motorcycle to pass through yes i take priority before the bus is correct as well so the second and the third answer is correct what is the right cause of action we are driving on a junction with that sign that means we have to give priority as well as the bus in front of us however the motorcycle is on a priority road so he will be the first and then we are allowed to go and last will be the bus because the bus is crossing our way and we are just going straight ahead and that's why we can pass before the bus all right what is the right cause of action i take priority before the bus yes i have to allow the bus to pass through no i have to allow the motorcycle to pass through yes that's right okay nice what is the right cause of action let's open this picture we are regarding the sign on the right on a priority road 
and the motorcycle as well he's on a priority road too obviously because he's on the same road however you can see it here very small they he has the same sign like us so that means that the yellow car is coming from a street with minor priority so he has to wait you can see it as well with his sign here that he has to give priority so it's clear the yellow car will pass last the question now is who's going first is it us or is it the motorcycle well the first one to be able to go straight ahead or to to make his move is the motorcycle because we are about to cross his way so we have to give first priority to the motorcycle then the motorcycle well the motorcycle will pass then us and at the end the yellow car what is the right cause of action i may turn before the yellow car yes we said that i may be the first to make my turn no because we have to give priority to the motorcycle so i may only turn after the motorcycle yes that's correct okay what is the right cause of action here we are driving with around 30 kilometers per hour to a junction which is regulated by that sign and this means that we have to give priority obviously so let's have a look um the red car from the left has priority because he's on the priority road we have to give him the way at first and then it's the question who's going first the yellow van or us the yellow van has to give priority as well but in that case we are crossing his way so we are turning left meanwhile he's going straight ahead and that's why we have to wait until the yellow van passes as well and this makes us the last one to turn what is the right cause of action here i allow the yellow vehicle to pass through yes i take the turn ahead of the yellow vehicle no i take the turn ahead of the red car no neither so it's just the first okay good what is the right thing to do we are here at a junction and we should turn left so who has priority that depends always on the rule and in that case because we can't see any sign and any traffic light we have to give priority to the right and at the right is the green car so we wait for the green then the green can pass first because the green car has no one on his right hand side and the red car has to wait for us because we are on his right so it's green us and then the last one is the red car what is the right thing to do i turn before the green car no I have to allow the red car to pass. No, I give way to the green car. That's correct. All right. What is the right thing to do? All right. In this case, we are at a priority road turning from the left to the to straight from our position and we are on a road with minor priority the same like the blue car which is on a road with minor priority as well regarding that sign so it is clear the motorcycle has priority because he's on a priority road following the priority road so he has priority and now the question is who's going first the blue car or us both of us have that sign so that means we are both on a minor priority road and that's why in between of us applies the rule right before left and the blue car is on our right so he will go first and then it's us who's about to go so we are the last one what is the right thing to do i may drive out before the blue car no 
I have to give way to the motorcycle. Yes, I have to give way to the blue car as well. So both of them are correct. Who has priority here? All right, let's open it. Again, we are on a priority road, this time following to the right. And as well on a priority road is this um, e-scooter driver. And she's going straight ahead. We want to turn left so the e-scooter is able to go first. We have to let her pass first. Then it's us and at the end it's the red truck turning left because he's on a road with minor priority. All right, who has priority here? Me? No, that's not correct. The electric scooter, yes. And the red truck has to wait, so this is not a correct answer. Good. What is the right cause of action here? We are coming towards a crossing and there is again a priority road turning from the left to straight ahead from our perspective and we are on a road with minor priority so we are the last one this is clear the question is who's going first the green or the red car the green is allowed to go first both are on a priority road, but the green is following the priority road. Meanwhile, the red is leaving it and crossing the, the um, direction of the green car. So that's why the red has to wait and give priority to the green one, who's the first, and we are the last. What is the right cause of action here? The red the, the green car may proceed ahead of the red car. Yes, this is what we said. I may proceed ahead of the red car. No, I have to wait. I may proceed ahead of the green car. No, that's not true neither. So the only one is the first one. What is the right cause of action here? We are again on a priority road regarding that sign. The priority road is turning to the right and we are about to leave it turning left therefore we cross the yellow car which is as well following the priority road and that's why we have to give way to the yellow car because we are crossing his way and last car is the red one because he's on a minority road and or a road with minor priority and that's why he has to wait for both of us what is the right cause of action here? The yellow car may proceed ahead of the red car. Yes. I may proceed ahead of the yellow car. Uh, the main, I may proceed ahead of the yellow car. No. No, we have to wait, I said. I may proceed ahead of the red car. Yes. So it's the first and the last. Good. What is the right cause of action? I have to allow motorcycle to pass through. The tram must allow me to make the turn first. I have to allow the tram to pass through. Well, maybe I should open the picture. We have that sign on our side. That means we have to give priority. And the motorcycle has the same sign on his side. So that means the tram is on a priority road and will go first. And meanwhile, we both have the same. We have to give priority to the tram. Now, in between us and the motorcycle, applies the rule that we have to give priority to the motorcycle because he, we are crossing his way. Meanwhile, he's going straight. So first tram, then the motorcycle, and last would be us. What is the right cause of action? I have to allow the motorcycle to pass through. Yes, the tram must allow me to make the turn first. No, I have to allow the tram to pass through. Nice. What is the right cause of action here? We are again on a priority road, but we are coming from a road with minor priority, as well as the car on the left. 
and just the motorcycle is following the priority road regarding that sign. So the first is the motorcycle and between us applies the rule right before left because we are both on a road with minor priority and that's why the yellow one has to wait for us and we are going after the motorcycle and the yellow one will be the last one. What is the right cause of action here? The motorbike may proceed ahead of the yellow car. Yes, I may proceed ahead of the yellow car. No, that's not true. I may proceed ahead. Ah, no, 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 it is true. I'm sorry. I may proceed ahead of the motorbike. Motorbike, no. All right. What is the right cause of action here? I have to allow the cyclist to pass through. I may be the first to proceed. I have to allow the red car to turn. So let's have a look. We have 20 kilometers per hour. There is no traffic sign. So right before left is the correct rule, which we have to use on our right hand side is no one. That's why we are allowed to go straight ahead first. Then it is the red truck and the bicycle should be the last one however be careful with the bicycle you can never trust them but regarding the routes the bicycle has to wait for both of us what is the right cause of action here i have to allow the cyclist to pass through no i may be the first to proceed yes and i have to allow the red car to turn no that's not true so it's just the one in the middle what is the right cause of action here so we are on a priority road and regarding that sign we are following it to the left and the blue car is on a road with minor priority and that's why he has to wait for us so what is the right cause of action i have to allow the blue car to pass through i might drive through and that is the correct answer Good. What is the right cause of action? That's a tricky one. All right, let's have a look. There is no sign, no traffic light. So we are getting closer to this junction and it's right before left. On our right hand side is the blue car. The blue car has at its right the motorcycle and the motorcycle wants to pass us, so he has to wait actually for us. So how is this solved? Mm, actually, if you look carefully, the blue car has the motorcycle on its right. However, he's turning right. And if he's getting the curve sharp and he's not endangering the motorcycle, he might go first. Then it's us and then the motorcycle. What is the right cause of action? I allow the motorcycle to turn before me. No. I allow the blue car to turn. Yes, you have to. I am the first to proceed. No, that's not correct. So it's just the one in the middle. All right. And we are coming to the last question. What is the right cause of action? We are about to turn left. So, and we are on a priority road and the tram and the red vehicle are on a road with minor priorities so that's why we are allowed to go first it would be just a difference if there would be coming traffic towards us because then they would have been on a priority road too and we are crossing them but since this road is empty we are allowed to go first and then it would be the red car and last the tram because the tram is crossing the road from the left and car or the way that's why he has to give way to me and to the red car what is the right cause of action i may be the first to proceed yes i have to give way to the red car no i have to give way to the tram neither so let's solve it and nice we did all questions without any mistakes um, I hope I could explain you the rules. Um, it was a bit fast how I was running through. However, um, 
yes, I hope it was quite, um, it was quite, um, yeah, good to learn with this. And um, hopefully see you next time again tomorrow. It's a holiday, but I will go on as well to get this thing done. So we can see us again tomorrow on Friday at 8.30. And um, this time I hope with sound right from the beginning. All right. See you. Goodbye.